Welcome to an overview of the Mobile Office app. This is a great app for the iPhone, iPad, Mini, or Android. First, how does the Mobile Office help you? One, you can conduct business away from the office, even without Wi-Fi. Two, all your critical information is right on one screen. Three, your data is secure and you control what your employees and vendors see. Four, with SmartSync technology, all your devices have the latest information so you can switch from phone to tablet without stopping. So let's go over the commands and see how things work. First, you'll notice that there's customers, employees, and vendors. These are lists that you can maintain of all your customers. And this information is synced with QuickBooks. So if you add a customer in QuickBooks, they'll be there. If you add it here, it'll get added to QuickBooks. So let's touch on the customers command and see what we've got. You'll notice that you have a list of all your customers. You can have photos. You have a map of where that customer is. If you click the edit button, you can look at the fields that are associated with that customer, which you can change. Now you can set an alert for customers. So if you need a reminder, to give them a demo or you have to deliver plans or whatever you have to do, that will automatically go into your iCalendar and gCalendar. So you set your alert, you type in the message, and it goes right into your iCal and gCalendar, which is really nice. You can also email or print the information. So let's go back and look at some of the other commands. Now, if you've done time and billing, this is really great because if you're a sole practitioner, you can enter your hours and send your customer billing rates, and there's no more data entry into QuickBooks, or your bookkeeper doesn't have to do that job. They can work on other jobs. So let's say if I want to add a task, I would just click the plus button up in the upper right here. I select my customer that I'm doing work for. So I'll pick the customer, I'll click Save, then I'll pick the uh, date that I want, and in this case I'm going to pick the hours. Let's say I pick eight hours. I can pick if it's overtime. I can write a note, and if I save that, it, know, it told me that I, had a, I forgot to set a service, so we'll go back and we'll set a service. So there's error checking on everything. And so now I can save the object. And at the bottom here, it shows you, you can have billable, non-billable hours, the year-to-date total hours. This goes into QuickBooks when you sync with your Wi-Fi or your phone connection, automatically generates all your vendor bills. If vendors did the work and it charges the rate that you set that you're going to charge for the vendor, or if you're billing to the customer, uh, you're going to have the customer rate that you set. So that's a really great feature, and it'll save you a lot of time when you do your time in billing. Now let's look at another thing that if you're out on a job, you may want to do a demonstration of files. You may want to be able to show so we're going to download let's say you have a, a picture of your artwork and you want to show that here I'm syncing the information and there it is and now what I'm going to do is I can then look at that picture I can have all kinds of uh, uh, forms whatever you have you'll be able to show it you can email that you can print it so there's the files command. That's great to have when you're out with the customer. You want to be able to show them stuff. Now, one thing that's really nice, what we've done is in the stores, you can have multiple stores. So we've extended the QuickBook functionality to allow you to have multiple stores. You can have an unlimited number of stores. And within a store, you can have the parts and you can see the quantity on hand for those parts. And this is critical when you're doing 
an invoice that you want to be able to see how many parts you have when you're filling out an invoice. And when we fill out the invoice, it automatically decrements that number. So if you have a couple people working for you, they'll automatically see the latest number of that particular part. So that's a great feature to have. And the invoices, remember this: these invoices, I'm touching the invoices, these are active invoices. So you can see your paid invoices, you can filter the invoices, let's say that you had for last week, last month, yesterday, and that helps you when you're out on a job and somebody said, well, what part did you use or what service did you do? How many hours did you do? You can quickly look that up. So you can, the other thing that's nice about doing an invoice, if you want to add items to the list, you can use a scanner. So if you have barcodes, you can scan those items. You can manually enter it. You can write notes at the bottom here. So this, once you finish filling out the invoice, you can also get paid, which is really nice. So when you get a, you want to take a credit card, you want to take a check or cash, you can do it right there get paid and that's a really great feature in terms of not having to wait like if before if you did your paper invoice you know you might take a check this way you can take a credit card and we have low rates compared to the rest of the industry so the other thing that we want to show is leads you're sitting someplace somebody says I've got a great referral for you you can enter that information for who the lead is and keep it right there, sync it up, and then you'll have it available anytime you need it. So those are the main commands, and you may say, well, what's my return on investment since I'm paying a monthly fee for this? One, you're going to eliminate data entry mistakes, and if you have a bookkeeper that's doing data, then they can focus on other tasks. You're going to be able to find things faster. Your invoices, what are your parts quantity on hand if you use that. You're going to be able to get paid faster since you can take credit card. And the other thing that's really nice is that this runs both on your iPhone and your iPad, your mini. For the time and billing, you can do that with your Android device. So I want to thank you for watching this. And if you have any questions, please contact us or if you want a more detailed demo.